to uh, just, oh, those are people. And I'm in my swimsuit because it's really hot out. Anyway. <laughs> So this is going to be the first of a series I'll do. Basically, I'm going to talk about like a teacher, an episode, but I'll put these episodes intermittently among the like 52 writing videos I'm doing this year. This is one of the things that I like most about learning things on your own. You get to create a syllabus of people who teach you. And sometimes it's kind of beautifully random circumstances where I come across them. And in this case, it was random. There at the library, someone misplaced Natalie Goldberg's book and put it with the scripts when it's supposed to be just in the regular writing books. The title said Writing Down the Bones, and I thought that was interesting as I'd been trying to become more mindful of like meditation and calming my ever monkey-minded brain. The subtitle of this book is called Freeing the Writer Within, and that's exactly what she helped me with. But the two things I remember most about this book were that she writes really short chapters, and she really helped me chill out every day for two months. She kind of gave me my first helpful structure. I would read a chapter of hers, free write for 10 minutes, as she often advocates, and then I would work on whatever project I was working on. At that time it was outlining my script and brainstorming a lot. But yeah, and it really helped me. I made the two or three hours that I would work after reading her and free writing it much more productive than it had been before I started reading her book. I was very insecure those first few months of being unemployed and trying to write on my own. I cut my hair, I quit my job in that order. Uh, that's not a good sign. And at the time dating wasn't going well either and that was also hard. I've been thinking about you and I miss you. What I did was I dropped my phone, said some curse words, ending with yeah, and then I took a really awesome nap. <laughs> It was just so comforting to have someone tell me it was going to be okay and write, to write really beautifully about like things I was feeling and fears I was encountering for the first time, putting myself out there and trying to do something I really cared about. One of the things I really loved was she talked about how she loves to teach beginners. She loves to teach new writers, helping people unlock their own passion for writing. I realize now that I'm drawn to these types of people. It's something I had in common. I really liked encouraging people to try new things. And for whatever reason, Natalie spoke to me in a way that I think only Natalie Goldberg could. All this is to attest to, I have my list of teachers who I've found, but they will not be the same teachers as yours. There might be overlaps and such, but it's totally fine if you don't like any of these books that I recommend. It'll be your own individual list by the end of the year. My best advice for finding teachers would be to let yourself love what you love without any shame or judgment. Ask yourself, like, what do you like? What kinds of things are you drawn to? Like, do you really like watching, like, Discovery Channel or reality TV? Like, talk shows? Manga or comic books or instructional manuals? Whatever inspires you. So there are certain, like, people that you're just drawn to their insights. But you'll find teachers and it's exciting. It's really cool. Just because you're learning on your own doesn't mean it's going to be lonely. But yeah, I'll include a list of more books I've read that have affected me. If you're interested in those, go for it. Poets out there, I'd love to hear what you think about this book, because she is a poet. So, have a good week. It's really warm, so I have to go swimming now. But I will see you next week, and have a good time, so. <laughs> They're staring at me. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Make a wish, don't tell anybody, but tell us after anyway. Oh, strong lungs on that one.